Um, Bailey threw the ball well. Um, you know, I think uh, I think we had to work for everything. I think he made a lot of good pitches when he had to. Um, I think we left, uh, you know, we had some opportunities and left some guys on base. Um, and again, that that's going to happen. It's not like we didn't have the opportunities to to score some runs. And and as we know, um, when you get that big hit or you get a couple of those big hits, um, you know, it's a big lift, and you end up with a few runs on the board, and things start rolling from there. And sometimes it's tough to get that really that first big hit with people on base. Um, we didn't we didn't get it uh, tonight really at at any point. And um, again, that that is going to happen. And uh, it was one of those one of those days for us. With Big Mike, the first couple innings looked really, really good. Looked like I was building off his last couple starts. What changed in your eyes in the third? Um, I would say uh, probably just the, the consistency, maybe a little bit with the release point. Um, you know, I think he uh, maybe just lost his feel for for a period of time. Um, you know, the I think it was a slider to Dozier that kind of stayed in the in the middle of the plate, and uh, he he put some good swings on the ball tonight for 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 them. Um, and then uh, you know, Big Mike again has, has he's. He does it, and, and he does it for periods of time. He does it for you know many innings at a time sometimes. Um, and again, there was just the one one tough inning where I think he uh, he lost what he was what he was doing out there, and that's going to happen too. Luis Arise is just 22 years old. He sure makes the transition from the minor leagues to the big leagues look easy. His first career four hit game. How much potential does he have? Yeah, um, you know, hopefully first of many. He certainly has uh, you know a lot of hitter uh, hitter traits. I, I, truthfully, I think he. I think he's a, a natural born hitter and, and, and a guy who um, I don't think what we're seeing right now is I don't think it's any kind of, uh, you know, I don't think he's getting lucky. I don't think he's, you know, obviously no one's going to hit whatever he's hitting, you know, 500 for, you know, 400 for the course of a season. But um, I think the things that he does will always play. And he's been this type of hitter his entire career from the day he's walked into pro ball. And um, I think a lot of the things that he does in the box. Uh, you can't teach. He's a very talented guy with the bat in his hands, and I think uh, I think it's going to continue to play. With the amount of baseball you guys have played recently, how good is a day after tomorrow for everybody here? Yeah, I think it's I think it's a really good day for us to uh, you know not come into a, to a ball field and and be at home and uh, spend some time cooling out a little bit. You know, physically, mentally, I think our guys have certainly earned it, and I think it's um, I think it's time and you know it's a well deserved off day. We, you know, we've been going for a while. Uh, like we've talked about, a few of our off days have turned into non-off days um, for a few different reasons. And uh, it, again, over the course of a long major league season, that that is part of the deal, and that's what it is. But uh, we have some guys that have been playing a lot and playing well, and I think um, you know the off day will certainly serve us pretty well.